Now, KLBK's first warning weather with meteorologist Chris Whited. Our one it is a mild evening out there. We've got clear conditions across the area. Still a little bit of a south to southwest breeze out there tonight. As far as your temperatures at the moment, Lubbock, one of the warm spots is 73 posts at 73, but the actual warm spot on the map here is down at Lake Allen Henry. They have 75 degrees Matador just behind them at 74 63 in Plainview. The cool spot right now in Muleshoe they have 54 degrees and up in Friona, it is 57. And again, your wind coming in out of the south, a couple locations with a southeast wind like Jaden, but then you get over here to Denver City and Plains, they're actually reporting a light southwest wind, and the winds tonight should stay about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now we've got dew points in the 50s right now at Lake Allen Henry and Jaden, as well as Snyder, but then you jump over here to Muleshoe and Morton, we're in the teens, so again, Drier on the cap rock and again we have a little moisture in the rolling plains, but during the day tomorrow as the west and southwest wind builds up across the area, that's going to shove all the moisture well off to our east. And over the last six hours, things are quiet across the region. Just a couple of false returns being picked up by the Lubbock radar site this evening there in parts of Hale County. As far as the future track forecast model goes and I wish I could show one of these one of these nights where there's actually some precipitation on it. But through, through the night tonight, we're looking at clear conditions in place. And then during the day on Wednesday, we'll start off with clear conditions. And we stay sunny throughout the day and into the afternoon as well, looking at clear conditions coming up for tomorrow evening. But we do have another cold front that will be coming in here as we get into Wednesday night, Thursday morning. There may be some blowing dust with that front like we saw with the one the other night. But before that front gets here, we're going to be dealing with a very warm day for tomorrow. Temperatures well into the mid and upper 90s. The model here showing highs around 100 for Childress, Paducah and Guthrie, as well as Spur. 99 at Post, 96 at Floyd Data, 96 at Level Land, Brownfield at 98. I got Lubbock at 97 degrees, and that's kind of important because 97 degrees would be a new record high. The record high tomorrow for Lubbock is 93. That's been on the book since 2009. Now with the hot temperatures, the dry conditions, the National Weather Service in Lubbock and Midland do have a fire weather watch in effect. This is from 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon to 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. Don't be surprised overnight and in the morning if the weather service has actually upgrade these to red flag warnings. There are red flag warnings in effect for parts of eastern New Mexico. Tonight, about 53 degrees. We'll keep a light breeze. Again, that south to southwest wind around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Record warm for tomorrow. Again, Lubbock's high 97. That breaks the old record of 93 from 2009. We'll have a west to southwest wind around 10 to 20 miles per hour. Front comes in overnight tomorrow night. Thursday, some blowing dust in the morning. Morning, only 68 for the high 30s for tomorrow night and then we're still in the 60s on Friday. We warm back up on Saturday at 85. Another front comes in here on Sunday. Some blowing dust then back into the 70s, mid 70s. That is Monday, lower 70s, Tuesday. We're back in the 60s and Terry, it looks like maybe early next week we're going to be dealing with some low temperatures in the 30s. Oh, sounds great. I'm looking forward to that, Chris. Thanks so much.